Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be starting our Wood Elves campaign for Total War Warhammer. Now, as you can see on the screen, I just got this little message here saying free content update, Grey Wizard. Just let you know this is a free update for Total War. I've literally just put the game on as well, had the DLC downloaded and this has come up. So it's the Grey Wizard, added to the Empire Army for future use in campaigns and battles, which is absolutely awesome. And also the Jade Wizard as well. So I want to show that as well. And also we've got a free content update. Uh, Mogur, uh, Brandt, Beastman Army roster, uh, as well, exclusive owners called, yeah, so it's all there, guys, and also Harpies, and Realm of Bordel, which I've already got, so yeah, that's cool, you can get get them, but we won't bother, now no, we'll do that um, after the video, obviously, so campaigns, new campaign, and um, we've got the Season of Revelations, this is the exclusive campaign, you can still play as the Wood Elves uh, in the Grand Campaign, but we're going to play the Season of Revelation, um, the Wood Elves are, by their own reckoning, enjoying a period of relative calm, as life in the old world carries on apace. The Asrai are rarely troubled by it. Incursions by the foolhardy have been dealt with. Dazzling defeats inflicted. Stunning victories. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to read all of this. <laughs> you guys can read this, especially if you've got your own um, campaigns and stuff. We're going to jump into it straight away. Um, obviously, it's two factions. Like I said, you can play the Wood Elves, or you can play as Argolon. I'm going to play as the Wood Elves. Um, Elven Council, positions from which the lords and ladies rule the realms of Athol Loren. Amber, which is the resource which is used. It's effectively their currency. Uh, world routes, elven armies can use the network of ancient tree routes to avoid impassable terrain and enemy forces. Missile focused elven unit roster with a variety of enchanted arrows and fast moving cavalry. Now, before we actually hit the start button, or the continue button, actually, we'll, we'll, we will do that. Um, I will I'll go into this once I can't get on the campaign map because a few things I want to talk about first. But uh, this, um, <laughs> this is the legendary lord. Um, you can get the other one, Durthu. With, with the other race, but I think if you if you confederate, you still get him as well. Um, now, Orion is actually the name of this legendary lord, Orion. But me being the Welsh person that I am, I pronounce it Orion. Orion, so um, I'll probably slip up in the campaign and call him Orion by accident. If I do, guys, then I apologise. But uh, hey, apparently the elven language was influenced by Welsh, so just saying that. <laughs> So, this is where we start. Um, he is the king in the woods, a powerful melee missile, missile fighter. He has the battle ability of Hounds of Orion and um, enables the unique Wild Hunt event. Upkeep and recruitment cost is minus 50% for the Wild Rider units, that's cool. His leadership is plus 10 during forest battles. Elite forest spirits and units cost Amber to recruit. Now, additional starting units, he starts off with Deepwood Scouts. Starts off with the Wild Riders and Eternal Guard. We're going to be playing on hard difficulty, guys. Let's just jump in, watch the intro, and we'll take it from there. Let's see how it goes. If this is your first time on the channel, guys, it would mean a lot to me if you could drop a like on the video. It's absolutely amazing if you could do that. If not, don't worry about it, guys. I'm not going to be a sellout. <laughs> the deep That looks pretty cool. Trailer. The Asre are hunters. And the forest is our home. Boom. Interesting stuff. I love the, um, I've always loved the Total War introduction videos. They've always been really good. Always well done. And yeah, I am excited to play this. And I will tell you why once we actually get control of the 
campaign and I can set things up nicely for you guys then. There's probably be a shorter video than the rest of them, mainly because I got terrible upload speed. It's taken me about two hours to download this, so obviously I'm way behind the pecking order when it comes to releasing content. Orion, king in the woods, you awake to a world sorely in need of you. Athelorn lies broken and in ruin. A sickness lies upon the forest, sapping its strength. With it, many great halls have fallen to darkness in your absence, and the once mighty Oak of Ages is now a bleak shadow of its former glory. Though you are born into fleeting life, through your strength, the forest will heal. This is the time of rebirth for Ariel, for Kernus, and for Atal Loren. There we go, guys. So, to want to, you know, set up the campaign, obviously, before we get into it. Uh, it says by here they play Wood Elf. So, as Lo Athel Loren beating heart, the Oak of Ages must reach its highest level. Use Amber to upgrade the Mighty Oak. If the Oak of Ages is lost, you will immediately lose the campaign. So, i got to keep that, basically, which is interesting. Amber is produced each time a settlement is occupied, a quest battle is, is completed. Whenever a military alliance is forged, occupying a major settlement will provide more Amber than uh, through an alliance. Wood Elves can occupy any settlement. But then, of course, it's negative effects as well. Amber is consumed by buildings, technology, and units. Having a negative supply of amber will cause penalties for your entire faction. Uh, multiplayer campaigns only amber is not received from treaties with human factions. So there we go, guys. The campaign has now begun. Now, what I was going to say, which I've been holding off until right now, is if ever there was a faction that was made for me to play in a campaign, it would be this faction. Because I am a big lover, obviously being a Welshman, of Medieval 2. I'm playing the Britonia, uh, Britonia? <laughs> Britonia, the Britannia uh, campaign on Medieval 2, the uh, expansion for that. And I used to love playing as Wales, obviously my home nation and whatnot. And they were a, an archer-based faction. The same then with the elves in the Lord of the Rings mods um, for Medieval 2 as well. I used to love playing as them. Factions with lots of elves, lots of cavalry, used to love it. So, um, you know, longbow, that sort of thing, love it. So if ever there's a faction, this is the faction, guys. I'm really excited to play as them. Now, obviously a lot of stipulations in place with the, the whole Amber thing, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for me as well. Uh, before we begin, let's actually have a little look at the map and see where we are. So this is uh, King's Glade by here, and we've got the Oak of Ages, which we've got to try and protect up here. This is the Realm of Talsin. By the way, if I do butcher any kind of um, any kind of pronunciations or things, I do apologise, guys, but, you know, tough. <laughs> Stuff. I am Welsh. A lot of Elvish stuff looks Welsh to me. Like, um, Atlwith. That says Atlwith to me. Modrin. Uh, Cathral. It, it is very Welsh looking, to be honest with you. Just just putting that out there, guys. You know, Elvish and Welsh, there's definitely a connection there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And like I said, if you do enjoy, then drop a like on the video. I'd absolutely um, appreciate that immensely. So, this is our legendary lord by here. This is Orion. This is a skill tree. So he starts off with the Hawk's Talon. Causes a magical damage. Large strike area. Strong versus a unit. Person weak against a single combatant. I might try that out in the first battle, I think. Hounds of Orion. And that actually does the same thing. But it uses... Hang on. Bombardment. That's 13 seconds of Vortex. Causes magical damage. Large moving area of effect. Okay, there are some differences there. So we start off with those two details this is what he looks like got nothing to begin with obviously apart from the king of the woods which gives him plus eight for elven unit speed which pretty cool his army upkeep is costing us over a thousand already so a few little things to realize the income from raising settlements is plus 20 percent for his army as well so interesting stuff there now we've got a beastman army over here which we're going to be attacking in the first uh, in this episode which is going to be our, our, our start of the campaign basically before we actually do that let's actually look at the technology this is the Wood Elves technology tree. You've got like an outer rim and an inner rim. So we've got to start off with this one anyway. Ward save 10% during forest battles and plus 5 leadership during forest battles. So we'll get that to begin with and then it'll either be Vault, uh, Vol the Maker for income or we'll go for that. We'll work this out. Um, don't worry, guys. That does cost um, Amber though. Well, these, some of these do cost Amber. As you see, that costs 1 but they for the for plus 50% growth and stuff like that. So we are going to have to be uh, careful with some of this stuff. The Oak of Ages as well, which um, you know we can obviously be upgraded. Now I think when you do upgrade the Oak of Ages, it does actually um, kick in scripted events, which I think early in the campaign is 
probably don't want to, you know, you don't want to have a, a massive, like, large stack army just coming in after five turns and that sort of thing. Or ten turns, or actually, am I on sick? Five turns, yeah, five, ten, and then ten on that one. Um, you know, do you know what I mean? So what we'll do, we'll hold off, consolidate initially, get get to grips with it, and then we'll go from there. And also, guys, leave your suggestions if you have any in the comment section. I, you know, I do record these a few episodes at a time, so it might take a few episodes for me to implement any suggestions, but I do like to have some feedback as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this army straight away, and we're going to attack the Beastmen. This will be the first episode, basically, guys. Chance to check out the army, the units, etc., etc. I mean, that's quite shitty auto-resolve. So we've got um, Orion here. Actually, we'll go into the map straight away, and then we'll we'll go through it on the map, because I think that's the best thing. Actually, seeing the unit in, in, in the flesh, in, in person, is the best thing. Battle of tal eth -er, I think that's pronounced. That's how I pronounce it anyway, guys. Battle of tal eth -er. We actually outnumber these by one unit as well. they got two um, missiles. Obviously, we're going to be quite good with our missile... Troops. Okay, so let's just group up everything. Pop over here. I'm going to take you through to and out of the army. Start off with our general over here. This is Orion, or Orion, as I would like to call him. I'm christening him in this campaign. He looks pretty badass. That's what he looks like. That is pretty, pretty swanky, guys. Pretty. I like the um, I like the eyes. <laughs> like nice nipples, nice nipples. Okay, so that's what he looks like there, guys. You can you can clearly see that. Hybrid weapon specialist, forest stalker. He moves faster and aims more precisely within the forest. Armor piercing, that's pretty cool. Anti-infantry, and he causes terror. That's that's a really good combination of um, stuff for there. Pretty good health, nearly 7,000. Armor's not the best, 30, but leadership's really good, obviously. Speed's really good. Melee attack's good. Weapon strength's really good. So, yeah, pretty good overall. Got good range, missile damage. So, he is a pretty good individual fighter there. Now, we've got these Eternal Guards by here. We've got a couple of them. We've got one with shields, and we've got two without shields. So, we'll start with the one with the shields. This is what they... Oops, this is what they look like. Actually, those shields look pretty badass, to be fair. Oh, that one glitched. <laughs> they are really cool looking shields. Um, what's the difference then? Just just the just the uh, defense. And also, the shields have anti-large. Oh, no, they both have anti-large. Sorry, the shields have... I mean, I mean, just check this. Melee defense is the main stat. Health is exactly the same. Shielded, oh, just because they got the shielded trait. Yeah, okay, so I was looking at the wrong thing. Yes, they shielded, and you've got the Eternal Guards, that's the only difference there. You've got Way Watchers, I don't know how they're going to be in this um, campaign, how good they are. So you get 60 in a unit, 4,000, 72 leadership. We'll try them out, they've got Forest Stalker as well, Master Ambushers, that's cool. So we'll see, try them out. Deepwood Scouts, looking forward to using these. Again, look badass, I like the look of them, lovely stuff. And then finally we've got some Cav then. Wild Riders. Wild Riders, oh they look, they look, yeah. Just saying, that is very swanky. Very swanky. Okay, guys, so let us get that off there. Let's just get ourselves sorted out for you guys. Let's get our cavalry. Oh, this forest looks pretty damn cool. Stick you there. Where watch ours? Can you... Yeah, you both go up here. Don't want to go too far out. I'm going to group you up into a locked group. Okay, Orion's got to go there. Eternal Guard, you guys can just form up like so. Um, I like grouping up uh, troops like this. Okay, guys. Let's get Orion up to the front. He's got missile capability, obviously, so we'll, we'll use it like three arc just to begin with. See if we can get them towards us. Way watchers. Maybe I shouldn't go too far forward. Ah, uh, we'll push up. We'll push up. We'll try him out in, by pushing up. Maybe I get some shots on the centre goers up here. Bestial Cavalry. We're going to want to watch them, aren't we? Probably best to aim for them first. Obviously, we've got these. But here, Hounds of Orion flying on a wall. Cause magical damage. I want to try that out. Oops. Just hit my microphone with my ear. Well, not my ear, but my uh, my headset. How foolish of me. Oh, that's terrible formation. Let's just get that sorted out straight away, guys. I'm just going to keep my cavalry back in the forest for now. I'm not going to commit just yet. I don't see the point. Let's go. Let's be aggressive then. Let's be aggressive. Bath power is heavily in our favour, even though the enemy has about 200 or so troops more than us. But um, very well, very well. Going to use this straight away. Want to try it out? Got some kills, lovely. And obviously, our main archers will start firing. Okay, let's go with it. Going to pull Orion back. Get the main force up now.
I'm gonna tell all my archers to go for the cav over there. Bring my cav forward. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, lovely, lovely. I like this. Okay, cool. Okay, both the way, both the missiles can now go up there. My cav's gonna go around, basically, gonna charge and route off the centre goes by there. Don't know whether I'm using the right in the right, the right way by here. I think I am, sort of. All right, you know what? You can keep firing on them. You go around to the back now. You can now come around here. You're gonna go for a side charge on them. Orion's gonna aim there. He's also gonna use this for there. Lovely. All right, get it around there and charge. Lovely, routing them off there. Cool, pretty straightforward. Ooh, okay, I like that. I like that. Way watchers. Sounds like the same. Weight watchers. Weight watchers. You got bit with you. Right, go on to the Ungo Raider, Raiders by there. Right, we're crushing this Ungo herd by here. Don't want to lose this by here. Deepwood Scouts. From what I can tell, they're pretty good, so just get them out of there. Fuck. Get a bit of a pickle by here. Right, there we go. I should sort them out. Saving the Scouts. Saving the Scouts. Okay, their general's like winning decisively by here, so we won't try and sort that out. Uh, okay, you two can come back around. Matter of fact, both of you just charge into that now. Eternal Guard, shoo, go around there. Calves right with them, both of them. Go and, go and charge the angle here. Cavalry being used really well, I think. Right, Eternal Guard can be charged into there. We can basically pepper that trooper there now. Alright, and go for the general by there. Right, it's going quite well. I'm a little bit sceptical of the infantry though, but um, I think I've left, basically what I've done, I've left them into combat with the Warmaker too long here. That's where I've gone wrong with the infantry, but the cavalry is going to get a shitload of kills. Might even level up in this battle, who knows. They've already leveled up, fuck my hell. Okay, I can, I can live with that. Orion. Use up a half his ammunition. Archers ready. Come and chase them off up there. Doing quite well with the archers, I think. I don't know, I don't know what I prefer with them. Like all my infantry's going in on the, on this guy now. Might be better sending Orion in. Matter of fact, let's do that. Uh, large, large strike here. Strong versus a unit. We want to use that on him. Strong against a unit. But oh, I'll speak against a single combatant though. Fuck. Okay, I used the wrong one. Both the, actually if both them are the crab against legendary lords. They're both shite against legendary lords, unfortunately. Right, if you all get in there, start firing. That'd be lovely. Right, you chase off the young or herd for me. That's lovely. Thank you. Right, we won. Cool, we won. Right, you guys need to, to turn around. Turn around! Yeah, shoot him up there. You can just chase them down and kill them all off. Um, yeah, all three of you, or all four of you rather, try and take out the general, I think. Then again, do I want to follow up battle or not? I don't know. Um, no, get rid of him, get rid of him early on. Very tired. I mean, I've taken quite a look at the Eternal Guards with shields. They took a hell of a beating, didn't they? Took one head of a beating. What are the kill ratios like? Uh, Wave Watchers got 18. Oh, that's crap. Okay, the Deepwood Scouts got 30. Leadership's down quite a bit. Eternal Guard 29. 47 Eternal Guard. I, for some reason, I think the ones with the shields are the worst. The shields done fuck all. Okay. Orion got 10. Causes terror though. Wild Riders. I think I should have had him in combat earlier. Because he's good in, in single combat like that, so... Probably missed the boat with him slightly there. Where's my cab gone? Go and chase down. There's one of them there. One and go herd. The enemy lord's dead. Okay, cool. You know what? That's probably enough for this battle. So let's end it there. Close victory. That was quite poor. Then again, I am getting used to this faction, like I said. Cav really go over 300 kills. Bloody hell. I love them. I love Cav. I need to master this now. Try and look for the good infantry. Look for the good missiles and get them. Now the good thing is with this campaign is I think we'll loot whereas other factions like Empire and I think Dwarves as well if you were to release captives I think you lose leadership you lose leadership for the cost of money in this campaign you don't get it you can just go for the leadership straight away or go for the treasury but because money is going to be quite a tight thing with us and you know we've got 300 on, on a plate right here we'll just take the 300 straight away Emmy kind of okay so he's gone there's still an army there 
with one unit, but fuck that. And obviously, we've got our general back here, Orion, 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 whatever. I'm going to give him, um, go for campaign map initially. We've got other stuff we can go for, like the endurance, the oak, hit points, armor, well, melee defense, attack. These are all good stuff to get. Speed, ammunition, that's going to be useful in this campaign. Missile damage is going to be useful. So we'll probably go for those sort of things first, and we'll work it from there, guys. But I'm going to literally end the episode here, guys. So it's been a short one, but we're going to have a lots and lots and lots of episodes coming up soon, guys. Don't worry at all. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.